Okay, everybody, so grip pressure plays a very, very important role in our ability to putt well and to make putts consistently and to consistently improve as well. So in today's world, uh, larger putter grips have become uh, all the rage, and, and, and our, in my opinion, in our opinion, for good reason. So let me just explain what I have. So thanks to our friends at uh, Edwin Watts in Bluffton, South Carolina, they loaned us a few of putters, uh, their use, uh, other used putter rack with varying uh, grip sizes. Uh, we always like our uh, help our local companies as they help us. Um, but anyway, we've got a, a Slim Ultra 1.0, Slim Ultra 2.0, and a Slim Ultra 3.0. All varying diameters. You can see I've got here the 1.0 versus the 3.0. So um, if you have a grip that is too small for you, which is the, the norm for, for most grips of yesteryear, the tendency will be, and I'll just illustrate down here in the shaft, that your hands will wrap too far over the grip and your palms will have a very high potential to be opposing or going opposite ways from another meaning they're if they're not parallel they're not working together so that's the first very elementary thing the second thing is if if the grip is too small uh, what you're going to do is you, it's not you're not going to have a, a good a feel for it so you're going to start to squeeze a little harder okay and if you start to squeeze harder your touch is not going to be as good as it is as if you're holding the putter slightly light all right um, the third part is, is if you're trailing hand, so if you're right-handed, your right hand comes onto the putter and it wraps over the top of the grip too high. What eventually happens is your trail arm gets too high, which means the plane of your arms now is this way and the, where your, the rest of your body is aligned another way. So you've got to disconnect there where your arms are going to move in one plane and your shoulders are going to move in another. So you're ability to control the club face and the club path is also going to be uh, interrupted. So if you have found out that you're squeezing your putter grip too tight, I would highly recommend a couple things. One is you go to larger putter grip. Uh, we just happen to have the super strokes here. You can try the winds, whatever texture you like. We're not promoting one company over, over the other. We think they're all good. It's just personal preference for you. But if you have a putter, grip that is too light and or you find out that you're squeezing your putter too hard try going to a larger size grip and you can go to any of your local golf shops again try the Edwin Watts here in Bluffton South Carolina they have all the grips that you can imagine until you find that you're making your stroke and you're not squeezing excessively it's okay if you're holding it tight enough so that obviously the putter doesn't fall out of your hands but you don't want to be squeezing so much that you get too much muscle activation and you start to lose touch and feel and then again, of course we go up to the 3.0 that's getting a little bigger now the caveat is you can go too large okay so if you get those the bigger too, too big of a jumbo putter then you start to lose touch and feel because you lose sense uh, the sensory function of the shaft and the, and the head as it moves throughout the stroke so again you don't want to be too small you don't want it to be too big you want it to be just right for you based off your stroke style your hand size your strength uh, and everything else now one other thing i want to explain about putter and grip pressure your grip if you have a grip that's large enough for you and you're comfortable with it yet you still find out that you're squeezing the grip too hard there's a very, very high potential that you do not have the putter held in your lead hand correctly and or your putter is at the wrong lie angle. Now, here's what I mean by that. Most uh, putting instruction will talk about the putter grip going through the lifeline of your lead hand just like this. OK, so your your hand would actually sit somewhat to the side of the grip, would not be over on top or the pad of your hand would not be on top of the grip like you would in your full swing. You want the lifeline or the, the grip of the club to run through your lifeline and almost down your index fingers like this. Okay. Now, when that happens, the, the first thing that that allows is you have less face uh, deviation. All right. It just uh, the putter, the, the shaft is aligned with your forearm and there is less rotation of the putter head. It steadies the, the putter head. It also, when that happens, you're not squeezing as hard. Now, the other part of squeezing too hard comes from if the putter is out of line with your forearm, meaning if the lie angle of the putter is as such that it is down here, but you can notice it's not in line with my forearm, then the lie angle is off. And even if you have the, the grip through your lifeline, the tendency for the putter to want to rotate and or torque is going to make you hold the putter or squeeze down hard enough so that you can have some control over it. So. Just to review, you've got putter 
size is number one. You want to make sure that the putter is not too small, not too big, but fits in your hand so that you can comfortably hold it. You're not squeezing too hard or you're not holding it too light. Two, you want to have the putter grip through your lifeline of your hand, of your lead hand as such. And three, you want to make sure that the lie angle of your putter is in accordance with the angle of your forearm so that from the head all the way up to your elbow is one straight line. And if you have a putter that's too flat, you can notice the deviation between the orange stick here and my forearm, or if it's too upright, the opposite way. So you need to have that shaft in line with your forearm. So those three things will really, really help you on your distance and your control, and in particular, your touch. Give those things a try. Now, if you've done those and you, you're still having trouble, it might just be the arrow and not the Indian. And we have the most comprehensive putter fitting system in, or in the game today. Comment below if you'd like to experience it. Send us an email at info at the golf paradigm or comment on any of our social media. We'd be happy to help you out and get you straight. Hey everybody, Pete here from the Golf Paradigm. Thanks for watching the video. You can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you want to watch more videos or subscribe, you can do it right here.